Volkswagen introduced the ID4 last fall, and now it's giving the electric SUV a performance version to inaugurate the GTX badge reserved for fast EVs. Bear in mind Volkswagen has used GTX in the past for sporty Golf, Jetta, and Sirocco versions in some markets, and now it's coming back for spicy vehicles that do away with the combustion engine. Unlike the standard ID4 that has to make do with a single electric motor and rear-wheel drive, the GTX adds a front-mounted motor to enable an all-wheel drive setup. Horsepower jumps from 201 horsepower to 295 horsepower, which is actually slightly less than the 302 horsepower output offered by the dual motor setup fitted to the China-only ID6, a larger three-row electric SUV. As a result of the added power, the 0 to 62 miles per hour has dropped from 8.5 seconds to a decent 6.2 seconds while top speed has increased from 99 miles per hour to an electronically capped at 112 miles per hour. Perhaps a more relevant performance number in day-to-day -day driving is the 0 to 37 miles per hour time of 3.2 seconds. As expected, the Volkswagen ID4 GTX uses an automatically adjustable all-wheel drive system as the electric SUV remains in a rear-wheel drive configuration until the onboard sensors detect more traction is needed. AWD also kicks in when the driver decides to push the accelerator pedal harder for what the peeps from Wolfsburg describe as a sporty driving style. The switch from rear to all-wheel drive is done in a matter of milliseconds and Volkswagen claims it's so smooth that the driver won't even notice it. The ID4 GTX sits on standard 20-inch wheels upgradable to an optional 21-inch set. Some will be disappointed to find out the rear axle still uses drum brakes even on the performance version, but that's not all too surprising considering the posh Audi Q4 e-tron has a similar setup. Available at an additional cost, the optional sports package lowers the electric SUV by 15mm and adds progressive steering into the mix for spirited driving. Adaptive shock absorbers also cost extra as part of the Sports Plus package to balance sportiness and comfort. The driver gets to choose from Eco, Comfort, Sport, Individual, and Traction modes. The 77kWh battery is the same lithium-ion pack used by the regular ID4. In the GTX, it offers up to 298 miles of range per WLTP. It falls short of the 323 miles delivered by the standard version, but that's to be expected taking into account the performance version is heavier after adding the front electric motor. Once battery juice is running low, fast charging at 125 kilowatts translates to 186 miles of range in half an hour. In regards to styling, Volkswagen has made efforts to separate the GTX derivative from its mainstream counterpart. Three-point LED lights arranged vertically in the front air intakes are exclusive to the performance model, and so is the glossy black finish of the grille. LED matrix headlights come as standard, along with fancy LED taillights featuring a 3D effect. Seen here is the ID4 GTX finished in a new metallic king's red paint while the red accents on the inside send a strong GTI vibe. As it makes sense on a range-topping version, it comes nicely equipped with a heated steering wheel, 30-color LED ambient lighting, individually adjustable front armrests, and split-folding rear seats. There are numerous optional packages available, adding goodies such as a head-up display with augmented reality and the upgraded 12-inch infotainment replacing the standard 10-inch screen. Going on sale this summer in Europe, the Volkswagen ID4 GTX will carry a starting price of €50,415 in Germany before the €7,500 subsidy.
Subscribe to Auto TV.